Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to your Lionsgate portal reading. This is a cosmic alignment occurring on the eighth month of the eighth day, opening up the portal of infinite abundance to the collective. Today, we're going to give a little bit of information on this energy and see what's in the cards for you guys. If you do enjoy your reading, please do help my channel grow and help this video get seen by pressing the like button, subscribing to my channel, and leave a comment in the box below. Say hello. Where are you watching from? From. What are you aligning with energetically that you want to manifest in your life? So let's get into your reading. So this is a time of increased cosmic energy between the physical and the spiritual realms. This occurs when the sun is in Leo and the star Sirius rises on the horizon, appearing to be closer to the earth. This links, this portal links all the way back to ancient Egypt and this is where also we've got Orion's belt that lines up with the Pyramid of Giza. So a little bit mystical and magical in that energy. The ancient Egyptians honored this gateway as a sacred time of increased energy activation and some good vibes. So this is also associated with Jupiter. Okay, so it just kind of gets a lot better, right? Just better and better and better. Um, this portal invites us to embody the soul, celebrate abundance of life's blessings, and it's a lot easier uh, to for us to be a lot more open to elevate our spiritual wisdom and harvest the bounty of the season. This portal opens on July 26th, thereabouts, and closes about July, about August 8th. However, the big day, the big show, is the 8th month, August, and the 8th day. Great day to find some quiet space, to open your heart, to set some intentions. Okay, what do you want to manifest in your world? It can be just more happiness and joy. It doesn't have to be physical things. We quite often do jump right to that. It can be more happiness and more joy. It can be that you want to manifest and you want to attract um, people towards you that are more in alignment with who you are and your belief systems and your evolution and your growth. Um, it may be that you want more love in your life, right? Or maybe you're looking for just a little bit more time, right? A little bit more free time. Whatever it happens to be, find that quiet space to engage in the higher realms. We have phrenology coming in here for you with the message of certainty. It's all about really connecting with your mind, okay? Connecting with your mind, your higher self. Some of you have been thinking about things for a little while, or you've been trying to make some decisions. So I feel here with this portal that's opening, this is going to be a time of increased clarity for you so that you can be very much secure and assured that you are making the right decisions, that the right choices, that you know what you want, you know what you need to change, you know what you need to let go of, or you do get this kind of boom energy of uh, just being really certain of why things have maybe occurred in your life. So this can be a very much an expansion of the mind um, and you're gaining that wisdom that you have perhaps been looking for that's been elusive to you. So this can very much be this time of greater understanding. So that's an awesome thing because that's usually something that, you know, we do get confused and we do feel lost and we do feel like, you know, I just don't know why all these things are happening or why things have happened. So keep that open mind, find that quiet space if you can for yourself and just really connect. Um, center ground your energy take some deep breaths and just allow the energy to flow and this is quite often where we do gain clarity and insights because our brain isn't trying to overthink and overanalyze and this is where we can be, come to terms with things and find peace with things but i do feel like you will have this um this energy where you have no doubt in your mind about what you want what you want to change and where you're headed so this can be a really big shift for some of you beautiful we've got the ascension we've got the rainbow bridge let me tell you you're the second reading that i've done right it started with aries and you're second in the line and aries also got the rainbow bridge energy so this is really beautiful because this is, speaks to our uh collective and your personal spiritual ascension when we go across the rainbow bridge this is a time of increased energetic alignment this is where we feel um 
maybe a little bit more centered or we just feel a little bit more alive. We're looking at things around the world, we're looking at things in our environment, our inner world, our outer world, and we're seeing them things in a different way. This is a time of increased growth for you and this might be a wonderful, wonderful time as we've already said to engage in some spiritual practice. Whatever that looks like to you, work with your chakras, right? We've got the rainbow here. So your chakras are the color of the rainbow. So it's a great time for some chakra work, maybe to do some energy work. You might be inclined at this time to go and uh, have like a Reiki session done or something just to kind of, you know, clear out all your chakras. But you can do that yourself as well. Uh, there's meditations that you can do where you can work with your chakras. You can work the crystals, you know, for example, your root chakra, right? Your root chakra is our source of grounding. How do we get grounding very easily? Connect with nature. So go out for a walk outside, go in the forest, um, plant some plants in your garden, right? Things like that can help us do, you know, really kind of open up our chakras and feel that way. So there's a multiple of different ways that you can work with your chakras. You don't necessarily have to pay for anything. Okay. And then again, maybe even like some guided meditations can help you as well. But working with crystals that are the colors of your chakras, right? Um, you know, if you wanted to work with your heart chakra, right, the color green is very much associated with that. Your throat chakra, blue, right, that's your throat. So uh, there's a lot of different ways to work with that. But this is a huge awakening for you, a big shift. Um, don't worry if you don't feel anything. All right. A lot of people do kind of dip off the highway of spiritual growth because they don't feel anything. It's like, well, I don't feel any different. Right. Or, you know, well, that's great. This portal happened, but I don't, know, I don't, I don't get it. Right. And, you know, the thing is, is that we unpack um, our spiritual downloads when we are meant to. Sometimes, boom, we get things all at once. If you're open and you know, you know, you kind of are very connected, right? Your, your energy is way up there, but sometimes it comes out a little bit slower. So don't worry if you don't feel any different or if you're like, oh, I didn't get any big messages or anything like that. You will, right? It'll unpack itself when it's meant to. So we have questions. I'm sure you do. We have present energy and we've got wing points. Okay. So we do have questions coming out here. So some of your questions, again, with the certainty energy, some of your questions are going to be answered at this time. Okay. This may be where you just discover some information that you've been looking for. Something's been elusive to you. This may be where you just haven't quite understand, understood how certain things fit in your world or, you know, how the puzzle pieces have, have kind of linked together. And this is that, uh, you know, where you're getting a deeper level of understanding. I love that the questions card has come out because we do have the three stars right there in a row, very reminiscent of Orion's belt. Okay. And so this can very much be that big turning point for you where you gain that wisdom, you gain that clarity about things. You might have a big aha moment, okay, or you might just see things kind of shifting for you in small ways over the next couple of months, right? Just at the speed in which you are ready to receive them right? And everyone goes at a different pace. So um, ask questions, right? You can sit there in meditation and you can just ask your spirit angels guides. You can just ask them for some questions. Um, you can just ask them for answers, excuse me, to your questions. So work with them and be open to the messages that they have for you because I think you'll get some questions answered. But this is card number 10, so I do feel that there's a big turning point for you guys. You're headed in the right direction. If you've been feeling a little bit lost, I think you're going to be getting that guidance that you need. You're opening up to your intuition and you're following it. And, you know, you might have some questions about why you're feeling a certain way or by why you find yourself compelled to do certain things or take certain actions. But sometimes we just need to allow ourselves to follow the path and without resisting anything. We do have the body energy and this is all about the present. So be present in the here and the now. It's very easy on our path forward. It's very easy to get a little bit ahead of ourselves. It's very easy to, number one, get a little bit lost, lost in the past. Sometimes, you know, we have to remember, we have to bring ourselves back to center as humans, right? We do have this natural propensity to 
contemplate um, and reminisce and get lost sometimes in our past experiences. And Spirit's really trying to highlight for you now that we, it's important to reflect on the past. It's important to kind of sit there and, you know, kind of think about what has happened in my life or in a certain area of your life. And, you know, and this is where we gain some wisdom and insight by reflecting on something. So there might be some, you know, truth that's revealed to you, big aha moment for something. But Spirit's always making sure that you remember to come back to the present. The present in the here and the now is the active energy. We can't change the past and we can't change the energy, right, that has gone on in the past, right? But what we can do is gain the wisdom, the insights, so that we can do better tomorrow, right? And that we can make better choices tomorrow or, you know, we can be like, okay, now I understand why that happened and now I know exactly what I need to do. So, you know, it's important to have that reflective energy, but bring ourselves back to the present. Today is the active energy. Today is the energy where you can harness everything that it is that you want. We make choices that affect our tomorrow, right? But ultimately, it's all about being present and all about today. We have wing point energy coming in here for you, and this is really the upper middle back. Now, some of you may be um, experiencing some discomfort uh, around kind of the this the inner points of your shoulder blades right where you're if you imagine that you had angel wings on right this is where they would attach right they're not on your outer shoulder blades they're on like the inner part a little bit closer to your spine so some of you here have maybe already been experiencing a little bit of back pain um you know or maybe you feel a little bit of tension or tension release right around this portal um, and this is really bringing in number one, um, part of your connection with your spiritual realm. This just may be where it manifests in, in your body. Okay, because we do have the body right here. And actually, it's really interesting because we've got what looks like your spine right there. And then we've got the two wing points. And then on this card, right, we've got the wings and the two wing points that would be a little bit closer to your spine. So very interesting energy. So I feel like here you're opening a portal to the angelic realms because that's what this portal also opens, your connection with, you know, all of your spirit angels and guides, but in particular with those angels. And that is card number 55. So this is opening a portal, opening doors for you to make some really positive change in your life, especially in your spiritual connection. Pay attention to any kind of sign, symbol, synchronicities. Pay attention to any kind of repeating numbers that you may see at this time. Feathers where they don't belong. Um, you know, sometimes coins. Coins can be left by our past loved ones. Uh, I have a friend who's, uh, I guess her, her father who passed away a couple of years ago, he used to uh, collect dimes for some reason and um, always had a little bowl with dimes in it. And when he passed on, every once in a while, she'll find dimes in the most odd places, just random. And they're not left by, there by anyone else or no one's playing a trick on her or anything like that. She checked. Um, so it's, you know, a very interesting reminder that, hey, it's just a reminder that, hey, I'm here and I'm watching over you. So this can be a really profound experience that may happen for you um, with your connection with your angels and your guides all around you. And this is also reminding you that you're always protected and guided every step of the way. Yes, there's things that are shifting and changing, or yes, you might be compelled to make some changes in your life, right? And changes, a change can be tricky. It can be hard, right? Uh, it's not always easy because we're stepping out of our comfort zone and we're feeling a little nervous or a little bit uncomfortable. And so call on your angel spirits and guides and they will be there to help you every single step of the way. And you are absolutely making some changes and some positive ones. Now, we're talking about kind of sign symbol synchronicities, okay? So your um, wing points, right? Your angel wings here is card number 55, okay? So 5-5, five, five. look up the deeper meaning of 5-5. Five, five. Your questions card is card number 10, 
card number 10 relates back to the Wheel of Fortune and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So 1010 or 11 may also be showing up for you at this time. But we do have the Two of Swords coming here. So this does show that you've been either experiencing a time where you need to make some important decisions or you have been going turning inward to do a little bit of reflection and perhaps ask some of those bigger questions and this could be a soul searching energy or maybe there's something in your life that you want to change for the better or something that you need to let go of and this is where you got to do the inner work right you need to find your balance you need to make some decisions and you need to use the swords from the two of swords to kind of cut off any old energy cut some uh energetic ties this is a great time to do a little bit of healing work and find a little bit of freedom so that two of swords think if you've been asking some questions or if you've been uncertain uncertain about things or you need to make some decisions you're going to be getting that clarity that you're looking for we do have the devil card coming out here as well so you could be very much trying to figure out how to make better choices in your life the devil card is actually coming out here with the body with the present so there may be some things from your past that you are trying to figure out right maybe you're saying why does this happen to why did this happen to me you might be railing at the fates a little bit in your world because the devil card is you know about um, toxic people or bad habits or the things that have kept us kind of stuck and trapped and bound the devil card is a little bit of shadow energy right it's our shadow side our shadow work and so this can be where maybe you know you have let people take away your power or perhaps this has been manipulative or toxic people in your life perhaps this has been some bad habits that you yourself has had um, you could also be closing down a karmic cycle right about now as well because we do have the wheel of fortune and that 10 is coming out twice so there could have been some faded events right that you have been dealing with the Wheel of Fortune brings in your karma to light, right? You're entering a period of really good karma. So perhaps you've been going through some times where you have been closing out and closing chapters um, in some karmic cycles in your life. But I think here that you're trying to figure out how can I do things better tomorrow? What do I need to change? Where have I given my power away? Where have I let people manipulate and overpower me or control me in any way? What has control over my life with that double card that I don't want anymore? Okay, so this can be a really big shift for you from like a little bit of shadow energy, a little bit of dark side energy or some bad habits to recognizing the things that you've been repeating or the things that have been keeping you stuck or the things that you've had to experience on your path to wisdom and growth and you are very much ready to move forward in a much better and a healthier way. So we do have the Wheel of Fortune, so you're moving forward, things are changing for you. When we've got the Wheel of Fortune, it's bringing you some good luck and good fortune. So, you know, we already have some wonderful energy coming in here with this 8-8 eight, eight, um, energy. And uh, with the Wheel of Fortune on top of that, oh yes, so harness that because this is certainly an amplification of that energy. But the Wheel of Fortune does show a cycle of increased growth, expansion, change for you where perhaps you are, if you've been feeling like you've been going backwards or you've been feeling like you've been stuck, you are about to move forward in a wonderful way. Now, it might be a little bit of a bumpy ride, okay, because as we do experience a change in cycles, sometimes we do as we feel the shift in the energy, uh, we do have a little bumps in the road, all right, but when we're looking out into the future, we've got that clear open mind, then the path gets easier. But you may have some faded events that uh, are going to occur um, either around this 8-8 portal or in the very near future. Just some things that you're meant to happen, uh, that's meant to happen for you, okay? Um, but the Wheel of Fortune puts you very much in alignment with your destiny. So again, you could be getting a clear sense of direction. So good vibes, chasing away the shadows and welcoming in some beautiful light-filled energy. We've got companionship here for you as well. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. Okay, so some of you are aligning with better people, right? The devil card, right? Maybe you've uh, you know, gone after, you know, gone after or connected with certain kinds of people that just, you know, have maybe kind of fed something that was missing from your soul. And sometimes when we, um, you know, when we're out of alignment, we're out of balance because the two of swords can have you finding balance. Sometimes when we're out of balance, 
we fill the void. We fill the gap with things that aren't necessarily the healthiest. And sometimes that is connection with people because they're filling some sort of void or something within us that we haven't connected with, we haven't dealt with, or we haven't cleared out yet. Okay, so with this companionship energy, you could find yourself connecting with better people, um, not really better people, or people who are more in alignment with who you are and who you want to be and who you are evolving to be in the future, right? And sometimes we do lose connection with people in our lives, even though at the time when we've been spending a lot of time with them that we didn't think there was anything wrong with them, all right? But some of you could be opening up to meeting new people, new friends, new communities at this time maybe you're feeling starting to feel a little bit more social and getting yourself out there all right remember you have a lot of gifts you have a lot of things to offer okay so you know don't sell yourself short right there's um, you know there's people out there that can dig your vibe right so you're gonna attract the right kind of people to you we have limitless coming out for you as well beautiful energy very reminiscent of the wheel of fortune hey see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways the divine can use anything and anyone be open to receive right the messages the signs that you are going to be sent and that you're being sent right now okay open up to your infinite abundance i'm going to leave all that there for you i really do hope there was something here that resonated on some level it might be a little bit it might be the whole thing but as we have the rainbow bridge um there might be something that kind of clicks into understanding a little bit later down the road you might even find yourself revisiting this reading and going there was something there what was that and you might come back and look for it but if there was something here for you, please take a moment, help this video get seen, help my channel grow, press the like button, um, subscribe if you're not already, and of course leave a comment, say hello, where are you watching from, what is going on, what is shifting, what is turning for you, or what do you want to change for you in your world. So I thank you guys for watching, have a magnificent Lionsgate portal, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.